Hey America, Chef John the Ghetto Gourmet. I soaked some black beans off last night. Um, ooh, I should have done my mouth movements. <laughs> I'm a little, I put a little cumin in there. I'm putting a dash of garlic. And um, I'm going to put a little salt in there. This is going to be part of our meal tonight. Um, I'm in doubt about my pineapples, so I'm going to throw them out. It's just it's it's just reality of what it is. I'm all I'm going to the store. Um, I'm stuck on uh, these M and M ice cream things, so I buy one every day. And I don't have anything green, and I have like four dollars left. Oh, and we should do a product review. Okay, let's do a product review. Um, I'm gonna turn the TV off. You guys don't want to hear that. How you guys doing today? I'm doing better than yesterday. Let's say that. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Man, I lost the light, so it's getting dark in here. All right, let's start with the freezer. All right. We still have that pork. This is my mahi. This is... Uh, that's fat ends right there. Beef, ground beef. My bones right here. This is tortillas. I use those for frying. Um, uh, this right here is. Oh, don't forget. Don't forget. I forgot. Okay. Oh, it, it's stock. Okay. So we have chicken. We have chick. This is chicken thighs. We have a whole thing of chicken thighs and legs right there. Can you guys see? Yeah, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. All right. Up here we have sole. We have a little bit of chicken tenders. We have a whole nother bag of sole right there. We have a good sized bag of shrimp right there, half a loaf of bread, two pounds of butter, all that fat crazy stuff I have. This is elk meat right here. Um, behind this, we got the shrimp shells. This right here is two sausages that I'm waiting for when I start doing my red sauce and my um, eggplant, which I'm gonna start doing real soon. We've got a big block of pork right there for my pulled pork. I like to keep that. Coffee, and behind that is a bag of sole. Um, and under it is more chicken. Okay, that was the freezer. All right, so we're pretty loaded on the freezer. I'm going to pull that other half loaf of bread out. Ugh. All right, down on one knee, people. Ooh, ooh, oh, gosh. My greeny. I ran my hill today. Oh! I saw the most beautiful three doe elk and they were young so they're not like they're not too used to humans so I was able to get within 20 feet of them and I speak this soft speak to them and they just kind of stood there and looked at me for a while and I just kind of stood there and whew, took the moment it was on the back side of my bluff that I run so anyways um so no falling down today hooray my legs are working pretty good. So bacon, eggs. Um, we still got that sourdough. I have, I haven't fed it. This is our brown rice for tonight. This is the pineapple I'm going to throw out. We got milk. We got a half and half. Um, I only drink out of glass now. I feel a lot better than I'm drinking out of glass all the time. Um, if you're drinking water out of plastic, you're probably making a mistake. Uh, tap water into a glass jar is probably safer than uh, drinking out of plastic at this point. Especially since the water is all shipped um, warm. Okay, they're not shipping it cold so the plastic stays cold, alright? Alright, so down here we got that orange cauliflower. I think I'm doing something with that tonight. I'm thinking about um, uh, slicing it thin and steaming it and then toasting it with parmesan or maybe even wrapping it with bacon because i really don't like cauliflower that much so i have to do something to it we've got a few tomatoes we got onions always have to have onions um along here is our sauces now people are really i really I suggest that you p spend a little bit of your money every month i've talked about this before but spend a little bit of your money every month on creating store all right base product and as we work along and you follow the show, uh, um, you'll be able to use all this base product, all right? So I got some things in here I will never use, like that cream of mushroom soup. Um, <laughs> these were 
39 cents, so I bought four or three and gave some away. That's from my buddy, Anto Chili's. So in here, we've got stuff for red sauce, which is going to be our next thing. Here's the chocolate my buddy gave me. 33 cents for that. Of course, I'm going to buy it. I bought two, I think. Um, so we have more uh, tomato product up on the top there. And I'm not getting off my knees. <laughs> I'm going to move on over here. This is our dry product, all right? Now this, my buddy gave me. This, my buddy sent me. But the rest of it is all stuff that I bought, all right? So I keep building up on this each and every month. We've got lentils. We've got red beans. We've got kidney beans. We've got red rice. we got another bag of lentils. we got two kinds, three kinds of pasta, uh, some of that fancy stuff, and then i got some linguine on the bottom. we got short grain brown. we got short grain white. We've got... So, see, oh, yep, another banana nut thing, some garlic down there, um, some brown rice, um, yeast should be actually be upstairs. This is uh, my beef stock, my chicken stock. My beans are just starting to simmer, so I need to turn that down a second. Um, some black eyed peas in the back there. All right, this is some really cool pasta. Um, it's got beet pasta. I've never heard of that before. Never had it before. I've never had this product before either. So that is going to be for when we move into. Um, we're going to do grains and stuff like that. Now this is my. Oh gosh. Ooh, grimity. This, uh, slow down. In my baking drawer, it's kind of a mess right now. I know what's in here, okay? This is stuff my buddy sent me. What's in here is almonds, different types of flours, bulgur wheat. Um, several kind, um, two kinds of yeast, um, and some seeds and stuff that I bought. Now, this is what my buddy sent me, all right? I, I'm, I'm trying to keep that separate. All right, so they're just coming to a gentle, um, uh, boil right now. It's been on high. I'm going to turn it down to five. And because beans are kind of heavy, um, I'm going to give it a stir, all right? Just because it's been on high and beans are heavy and I don't want them to burn. I don't want them to sit on top of the, this is a thin pot, all right? I only use this for my beans and sometimes for my pasta. Thin pot. Remember what I said about the other pots? This is a thick face pot. That's, ouch, that's warm. <laughs> that's a good pan, all right? This, not a good one, piece of junk. All right, this one. Much better. Has that ring on the bottom. Um, actually, I got that from the dumpster, though. You know? Hey, live and live. All right, now, here's the cool part, all right, folks? Um, here's my spices. All right, we got the big stuff there. We've got my baking setup stuff up there. Baking soda, baking powder, um, yeast, uh, molasses, uh, powdered sugar, salt, uh, my cornstarch, black pepper going down, cooking spray. All right, in here... I take, this is ambrosia cocoa, this stuff's so good. Um, all right, so here's some of my spices, and they're all bagged up. And now these are the ones that aren't going to have a very powerful scent. The ones that have a very powerful smell, like curry, has to go in a glass jar, or some form of jar, or everything will smell like curry. Same with paprika, all right? So we come over here, and I've got several different kinds of chilies. No, I buy things that are, like, this is um, blackened seasoning. It's not the greatest. It needs to be built up. So I also have a barbecue sauce, uh, barbecue seasoning in here somewhere. Now, that's chili powder. Really, look at that color. This, this cost 40 cents. That much chili powder, beautiful color. I got it in bulk. Spices for pennies in bulk, all right? Um, so I want you guys, this is all, um, these are all in the mint family, and they've been together for a while. And I'm not going to take them apart. And they're kind of all blending in flavor. I've got a Italian mix in there. I've got some basil. I'm right there. That's parsley. That's basil on the top. Um, I have some fresh basil seeds that I cultivated from Lane Community College a couple of years ago. Um, so, all right. So, that's our end of the month. I've got $4 left on, our, on the food card. And... Um, Oh, sorry guys. I know I'm moving around and all this, and I got a coat on, so it's not really smart of me. All right, I know no music playing, but I don't feel like stopping to do it. All right.
this is every single receipt for the entire month okay so all the product I bought even a 79 cent ice cream um, I bought bacon the other day another ice cream <laughs> Uh, I bought two of them, I ate two of them, yeah, um, and some Dijon, Dijon kettle corn and flour, all right, that, these are the ones that we haven't talked about, I got a little smoked turkey for sandwiches the other day, um, it goes in a different stack, uh, and so and we got sour cream in here, so I can go through this entire thing and show you exactly, you see where I'm shopping too, right, all right, I like to, I also have a $20, or no, about a $10 bill uh, from the um, Bright Oaks Meats. And I didn't make it over to get spices this month, but I got that wonderful gift in the mail. Um, I do need spices. I'm out of ginger. I need a ginger. So um, that's on a gentle boil. It's on five. I'm going to turn it up to six, six and a half because it's not cooking fast enough. I, I, beans need to be on a hard rolling boil. Okay. They need to be moving around in the pot, seriously moving. So you have to, I mean, not a hard boil, but it needs to be a boil, all right? And it, it, it can't be a simmer, all right? See how it's starting to pick up, and then you can actually see the beans moving. You'll see them raised to the top, and that's the way you want it. So I got it on six. I think that's going to do. All right, so that was product review. Um, so really, 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 America... Your first few steps, your first few steps, okay, is going to the spice rack, okay, and pick a spice up. This is hot chili powder. And this is what I did when I was in um, Baltimore International College. While all the other students were over there doing the chef thing, talking chef, being a bomb, I was over at the spice rack going, okay, the chili and then the heat. So this is, this is some hot stuff right there, right? That's what I want you to do. I want you to start sniffing that. Now, gumbo file, I know what it smells like, but I'm going to bring it back to my head. It's like sassafras and like, like a bay leaf sassafras, kind of soft, gentle, all right? Now, what I want you to do while you're doing this is think about a piece of chicken. That's the simplest one. Think about a piece of chicken. Um, that is the most kind of blandest meat that we have. While you're in front of the spice rack, think about that piece of chicken. And think about the spices that you can put on it. Think about the combinations that you can create. Pick five. It's only going to cost you a dollar or two at the most, all right? Two dollars, five spices, all right? Paprika, garlic, dill, get some um, cumin. Get some chili powder. If you want to get a little bit more exciting, get some Italian spices. Um, have some cinnamon. And uh, we're going to leave it with that, all right, for basics. If you want to go advanced, you, showed, you saw a lot of the stuff I showed you, all right, that's advanced. You could start picking up curries. You can start picking up gumbo file. You can just take a little bit of all these, take 20. All right, that'll cost you four bucks yeah. or five, maybe at the most. And if you're getting big bags like that, it'll cost you five. If you're getting little bags like that, it'll cost you three. So, um, all right, so that's where we are. I'm going to throw my pineapple out. I'm thinking of walking to the store. i got to start my briquettes because the only way to really do this is on the grill. And we have our starch made already. I don't like running up and down the stairs when I'm trying to, like, cook two different angles so maybe I'll um, I don't know no I guess I'm gonna do the, the cauliflower up here I'll wrap it with bacon probably <laughs> that sounds good cauliflower wrap with bacon huh yeah 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 put a little Parmesan cheese on top shake a little garlic a little dash of salt Woo! it sounds heavenly sound like it get ya sound like it's tasty and um, uh, Chef John, get a gourmet. That was our product review for the end of the month. And next month, um, you see how much we got in the freezer, right? Next month, we're going to definitely make gumbo. Um, I love gumbo. And now that I have gumbo file and all the shrimp and a lot of fish, um, 
I'm going to keep looking for deals. I like going to grocery outlet every night to buy an ice cream cone because sometimes you find this amazing deal. And you're like, dude, got to buy four of those. Just got to do it. If it's 50 cents and it's normally $4, well, <laughs> all right, you know, um, hope you enjoy the show. I hope you are like starting to pick up some of the ideas. This is a progressive series, okay? So if you watch the show, you're going to become a better cook. We're going to become better cooks because I told you I'm not a great baker. I make mistakes. Um, like last night's dinner, I put put wine in instead of lemon. Put wine in instead of lemon. The lemon was, I mean, it was edible, but it was eh, not where I wanted it to be. <laughs> I admit it. Um, this makes us better chefs. This makes us better culinary. This makes the guild stronger. Well, posture, if you got it wrong, fix it. And don't scream and yell at somebody who got it wrong. Help them fix it. Teach them. Teach them palate. <laughs> Most of all, teach them how to rock and roll in the kitchen. To get it done. Kitchen is a team. It is not one man. It is not the chef. Okay? But... Peace and grace to your home. Peace up. Chef John, get a gourmet. Much eat better in your home. I'll talk to you in a little bit when we get things cranking.